Not sure that's the shot that the Owls want, quite frankly. Andrews driving all the way, and he scores. And he's fouled. Day Day Andrews has been one of the most dynamic players in the Northeast 10 Conference over the past two seasons. A native of Queens, New York, Andrews believes going to prep school helped prepare him for a life at Southern New Hampshire both on and off the court. I went to high school my last year in Brooklyn. Then after that, I went to prep school in Pennsylvania. So like, I'm kind of used to like, being away from home already, like, being at prep school and stuff. And prep school helped me out a lot. It gave me an extra year just to you know, work on my game, work on my little floors and stuff like that. Get to play in like, a different, different area, get to play with a different lot of coaches and stuff like that. Uh, so it helped me work on my game a lot. Coming up here, it's kind of different because it's, it's real cold. <laughs> But uh, I like it, it's different. Andrews did not commit to Southern New Hampshire until late June. He nearly chose to attend a junior college, but was set on becoming a penman after a visit to Manchester. Uh, I actually committed like late late June. It was a, it was long, cause like, I didn't know like, where school I wanted to go to. Uh, I was actually gonna go JUCO, then I, I can't pay for my visit. Uh, they liked me and I committed right on the spot. In his first year at Southern New Hampshire, Andrews helped lead the penman to the Northeast 10 Championship. He believes experiencing the winning culture has made him a better leader this season. It was great, um, you know, just to like, be in a winning atmosphere, you know, just to see like what guys been through. Like the last a couple years before that, they went to Elite Eight. Uh, it just, it's good for me now because like, I'm one of, like, kind of one of the leaders now this year. Uh, I know what it takes to win and stuff like that now so I can, we can go farther this year, hopefully. Andrews believes the team's early success this season can be attributed to both a deeper roster and an improved defense. I think we would kind of have like a more more depth, like guys like we just I don't know I think we just play playing harder right now. Um, we got something to hang our hat on like a defense in the second half. Uh, we know we're not gonna go up like we're not the type of team like, that's gonna outscore everybody. Uh, we're, we're gonna uh, hang our hat on defense and like, get stops like when we need to and like, we've been doing that so far this season. Andrews has improved his shooting percentages, points per game, assists per game, and rebounds per game this season. He says consistency has helped him become a better all-around player in his second year. Just being more consistent, um, taking the right shots, uh, not um, taking momentum plays, like taking bad shots and changing the momentum, just being more smart and more wise on the court, uh, being a leader in practice, uh, leading by example, it's just things, little things like that. In order to advance past where they finished the season ago, Andrews believes the Penn may need to take a game-by-game -game approach the rest of the way. Uh, we're just going to um, take it one day at a time. Uh, we're not going to look ahead and say, oh, we got to play Stonehill again, or oh, they beat us. Uh, we're just going to take it one game at a time. Next game's assumption is going to take it one, one step at a time, we're not look too far ahead, not to not get too big on ourselves because we're 15 and 4. Uh, it could easily be changed. Uh, Real fast. You're short on the shot, and Andrews is running the floor. Day Day all the way in for the layup. He is as fast with the basketball in his hands as any player I've seen at this level.